Among the toughest calls that he would make, he would make as Commander-in-Chief. When I would wear my uh, coat in the summertime because I didn't want people to know about my imaginary wings. <laughs> when I was about nine or ten, I imagined being able to own my own business and get out of the door. Be in Atlanta, Georgia. Somebody who, I, I, I was just reminiscing, when I first started uh, to run for office, when, when we think about the next generation of manufacturing, I don't want to take a root in Asia. This nation just to be known for buying and consuming things from other countries. I want to build and sell to other countries, even jobs overseas. I want to reward companies like this one. They're creating jobs right here. They want to roll back the laws that we put in place so that now Wall Street can play by its own rules again. Yep. They want premiums anytime they want it without reason. They want to spend trillions more. We're always better off when we keep that basic American promise. Send your kids to college, put them little away for retirement. And that's the choice in this election. We've got different economy that's built on outsourcing and bad debt and phony financial problems. My mom raised me a single mom. Or that somebody else gets a student loan who's maybe a single mom going back to school just like my mom getting education. Why are you supporting President Barack Obama? Well, you know what? I'm a supporter of my people. I, when I moved to Atlanta, I noticed that there were a lot of black-owned businesses, and it was just an empowerment that made me feel that I belonged and this was home. So I made it my home. I've been here for six years now. Uh, this is my first time actually stepping on Tyler Perry's studio, but I have to say it's quite fabulous. And to kill two birds at one stone, I wanted to be a part of that monumental moment when someone like a Mr. Tyler Perry can welcome and open the doors for the President of the United States. I wanted to witness it. Two great things happening at one time is just too much for me. You know, and, and, it, and it, it is awesome, and I think it's also awesome that you, you know you've blessed Tyler Perry Studios by being here with your presence oh, because you. you're a very powerful woman, thank an African American woman, and woman. Period. You're you welcome. Saying that like you want me to recognize me, I do. Thank you so much. I want to recognize, and the past report <laughs> recognizes you and all of the work that you have done. Now, might we see you in one of Tyler Perry's movies, perhaps? I would love to. You know, in the meantime, I'm still making things happen. You know, speak a lot for the community. I've represented the Diabetes Foundation for the last three and a half years. I'm involved in a lot of youth activity. I give a thousand dollar scholarship a year to some school uh, in Atlanta. It doesn't matter which one. And I'm, I'm very, very supportive of, you know, anything dealing with teens that are troubled, that are trying to get their life together. A lot of prayer factor. A lot of, you know, finding that right moment to minister to a child, you know, by it be music or conversation or whatever it is. I'm just happy to be down. We are so happy for you and we are just praying for you and, you know, prayer and prosperity. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. I you're so, you're so welcome. And you know you have a beautiful voice. Can you just let me know? Do you have a new album? Are we going to be absolutely? I have a new album that's entitled Rich Girl that's scheduled to be released before the end of the year. Uh, by the time this airs, hopefully you'll be hearing my single on the radio. So the next two weeks or so. But the album is entitled Rich Girl and it's coming soon. Don't miss it. Praise God, Miss Angie all Stone. Thank you thank for you. talking with us on the La Paz Report. It's all good, and I'm loving the La Paz Report. So y'all stay tuned. Lock into my sister support on a regular. We need that. All right.